It wouldn't be a horror game if it was. <laughs> Hunter. Ah! Boom! Hello everyone and welcome to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. As you can see, we're in a new room. Uh, there will be a video on my channel of the new studio I've managed to set up in one of our spare offices. Um, but without further ado, let's just talk about a new horror game that's come out. And it's got quite popular on YouTube, I must say. And I can tell you what, this popularity has really kicked in and I don't blame it because it's a really good game. <laughs> so let's start by talking at Dead of Night. At Dead or Night is an FMV horror game that has a unique gameplay mechanics and of course the scares you don't really expect. Trust me, I know. The cool three things they have in this game, it's a part movie, part horror game and part ghost hunt. You, a protagonist called Maya, is getting hunted down by a crazy psychopath in a hotel called Jimmy. Now the first thing I saw about Jimmy, he just instantly reminded me of Matt Smith so... <laughs> As getting hunted down by Jimmy, you have to try and get out of that hotel. There are many different rooms to explore, many different keys to unlock different rooms, and of course, the ghost hunting. Okay, first thing. <laughs> Reveal what dirty Jimmy has been up to, Matt Smith. To figure out the gruesome murders that's happened in this hotel by Jimmy himself, you have a spirit ghost that can contact different ghosts and pretty much find different clues of what happened to each victim that was in the house. It's a pretty cool concept. Uh, I couldn't get too far because... <laughs> Bloody Jimmy. <laughs> it wouldn't be a horror game if it was. <laughs> Hunter. Ah! Oh! I'm so stuck in- oh! Jimmy? Get out of it! Get out of it! Dude, I can't get out of it. <laughs> so let's talk about the key mechanics. So it's a very point it's a point and click game which meets FMV. The last game I actually played that had FMV in was Night Trap. And that was a really old game, but a classic. I'm actually glad someone stepped up their way to do that because honestly, man, I, I haven't experienced anything like this in a long time. And this is a very unique style with FMV meets point and click game. There are so many clues and different things to find. You also have got getting hunted down by Jimmy himself. Now, Jimmy is an interesting character and a mechanic in the game because if you hear them footsteps and him getting louder, you know he's going to be creeping up beside you. But if you end up walking and within seconds you could probably see a little bit of Jimmy walking across different hallways or doing other stuff as shown in this bit. There are ways to get away from Jimmy if you do spot him or you hear him coming. You can either run to one of the nearest rooms and look through the peephole or uh, hide in one of the closets or the toilets. Now, with these toilets and closets, I found that there's literally a 60% chance he'll come in there. So if you try and keep hiding in the same bit, that will lessen your chance of getting caught by him. We're gonna lock him. We're gonna lock him up. No! No! What? What? <laughs> you son of a gun! Oh my god! <laughs> Once you get caught, you end up getting all your stuff you've collected throughout the rooms and everything else. Uh, randomly placed somewhere else again. So you have to go all around the hotel to find all that stuff. 
Another key item in the game is you start off with a spirit box and um, you need to look around the rooms and if you hear anything or you see any signs of like a ghost, um, you can bring up the spirit radio and have a chat with them and they will give you hints and other things to do for them as well as help you out. With the story, I don't want to spoil too much because this is one of those games that you need to play through yourself and experience it for yourself. That's the pure excitement for this FVM game. Uh, the acting is quite funny, especially Jimmy. He actually cracks me up. And when he actually comes at you, you don't expect it. And the way they did that is pretty good. Ah, Maya, I presume. Uh, oh, don't be alarmed. Uh, your friends booked you in. Uh, let me just check. <gasps> shut up! Just shut up! You always do this! They're paying customers! They haven't done anything to you! Just leave them alone! Bad eggs need cracking, whack them hard and crack the shell! Kick them down the stairs to hell! You know what you need to do, Jimmy. Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it. Uh, with the, yeah, again, with the jump scares, I was pretty surprised. <laughs> I was not expecting some of what he had to do. Um, I think there's quite a couple. One of them, I was walking down the hallway and I heard him, so I went the other direction and right there, he was there, you know? Of course, there are some pros, there are always some cons. Um, when you get caught by Jimmy when you're trying to do something, you lose your spirit stone thing, spirit box, whatever you call it. Uh, your compass you find in one of the rooms, which took me ages and also your spirit mirror where you can look at hints and if you get if he gets you he'll get he'll take them all off you and you've got to go and find them again whilst he's walking around it's it's pretty annoying after a while um when you're trying to get everything including the keys he puts keys in different drawers in the hotel so it's even more worse and uh, another thing I find is the corridor system they have because the, the numbers of each room are they get confusing very easily So say for instance, you've got one corridor you go down and it's 110 112 and then for some reason it goes to 120 or something and That that really annoyed me because I'm used to like rooms where it actually is easier to navigate in hotels for real life but don't be fooled by it. The game is absolutely wonderful. If you can outsmart Jimmy and you know where you're going and you've got a good brain to think where to go, then this <laughs> you're going to enjoy this game. One of the coolest horror games I've seen in, since uh, Dungeon Nightmares, and that was back in November, so put that one on your list, I've got to say. That is it at Dead of Night. Um, like I said, I can't spoil the story because it's a really good story as well, um, despite the cheesy acting it's still good I, I think Jimmy killed it off like he, he should get an award for that but uh, yeah we've got more games coming uh, got quite a few games planned to do a review on and I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the MGM channel to show that support if you want to have a chat with any of us we are in the discord we have a discord down below don't so don't forget to check it out in the description and myself I live stream every weekday I run a YouTube channel which at the moment I'm doing the Fallout 76 stories with just my friend and I uh, we're gonna be adding more people in to the uh, the group of the series which will be fun and I hope you guys can check that out. We'll be uploading different videos as well very soon. I've got a lot of plans happening with that channel. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. You take care and have a wonderful day. He's sort of this comedic sociopath. Bad eggs need cracking, whack them hard and crack the shell. Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it.